Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining me now is Bessie Lynch from the Bookworm, and she is here for Gear Week, also for Veterans Day. So she has books for both of those topics. And Bessie, I know that you've been busy with different events throughout the season. You still have more coming up. You do. And you're such a good resource for whether it's gifts or just good reads yeah. as we kind of hunker down for winter. That's the great thing about books. It's, you know, anything you want to do, there's something, there's a book about it. <laughs> it's a good so. escape, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And we want to, of course, mention Veterans Day. We were just right. talking to Pat Hammond and John Perkins. Yeah. And you've got a great one that ties into the his history of our area. Yeah, Climb to Conquer um, by Peter Shelton. It's just a really great history about the 10th Mountain Division. It goes into depth about all of their training and all of the um, all of the exercises they had to go through to pr prepare themselves. They were the first military unit to come from athletes, which is oh, wow. really fascinating. And it's something that is really close to our hearts here in the Valley, of course. Yeah, when you think about Camp Hale, just about 30 miles south yeah. of there, you can still see some of their old buildings. And think about the terrain that they did their training on. And yeah. I know the Colorado Ski Museum shows, you know, some of their, the outfits and the gear they use, but uh -huh. they were very, they, they were very instrumental in World War II and oh, helping yes. Oh, yes. the Americans defeat them. Oh, of course. It's we couldn't have done it without yeah. them. And to imagine the kinds of equipment they did it with. You know, you think about what we have now, and this was the 40s. Yeah. They didn't have, they had straight ski, you know, it's oh, what it's amazing everything. what they accomplished. And what they, they had to sleep, you know, in very, very cold weather, all that different stuff. Yeah. And it's also interesting to find out, you know, what they did after they got back from the war. And oh, yeah. a lot of them were instrumental in starting the ski areas that we know yeah, today. We wouldn't, we probably wouldn't be here in Vail today if it yeah. weren't for the 10th Mountain Division. Okay. Okay, so that's a great book. Yeah. Required reading for the it Eagle County be, yes. residents. Yes. All definitely. right, and then another tie into Eagle County, The Edge of Never. Edge of Never. This book was made into a movie. They had their world premiere with the Bell right. Symposium at the Valar. Exactly. You've read the book and seen the movie. The book, I've seen the movie, and it's fantastic. It's wonderful. But I have to say, as always, the book is better. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's just so much insight into um, what it takes, because really the book is about Bill Kerrig's kind of adventure creating yeah. this film and and following the story what it is is it's a father-son story um, Trevor Peterson was a young man when he died um, in the Alps in Chamonix and Edge of Never is the story of his son Kai recreating those steps yeah. and going back and skiing the same shoot that killed his father. Yeah, it's a real coming to age film, but even just beyond Kai, the other characters involved, I mean, it's a really Yeah, there's some story. legends of skiing and I, I have to say, I didn't cry at the movie, but I cried at the book. Okay. <laughs> I cried at the movie. <laughs> All right, so Edge of Na Never, a great one for yeah. our gear week. And then the Ski Atlas of the World. I love yes. maps, and I can imagine this would be just really yeah. fascinating to see yeah. the different ski areas all over the world. All over the world, everywhere, from Bulgaria to Vermont, to, you know, it's yeah. South America. It's Australia. Everything in there, yes. Um, Arnie Wilson was a big contributor to this book, and so it really has that heart and soul of skiing. Okay, and you know what? A kind of a nice coffee table book, a nice yes. gift for someone yeah. who's a big ski fan. Yeah. And then the third one, this is brand new. Brand new, not even out yet. It actually won't be released until um, January, mid-January. Okay. This is a book, the, the title's Just Don't Fall, and the author is Josh Sunquist. He's 25 years old. He's a Paralympic skier. Um, and the story is when he was nine, he had cancer and a particularly horrid kind of cancer had his leg amputated. Oh, wow. And so this is his memoir. This is a story about overcoming obstacles, about finding love of life and truly becoming a whole person. Oh, wow. It's really amazing. And we are lucky enough. We actually just confirmed an event with him for January 31st. It's a Sunday. It'll be at Battle, Battle Mountain High School. Vail Symposium, actually, we're partnering with them, and they're selling the tickets. So get in touch with them, and you can okay. you can sign up right away because it's going to be amazing, and it's going to sell out. And when do you think the book will be released? I believe it's January 21st. Okay. But if you want a sneak peek, go on his website. I believe it's joshsunquist.com and see what he's all about. There's some clips of him speaking. It's He's amazing. Oh, and how inspirational really amazing. to have that at the high school, the yeah. new Battle Mountain Art yeah. and everything. Okay, well, good. I know you've got yeah. so many fun events coming up throughout the holidays and the mm -hmm. new year. And then just for coffee, we've got lunch, we've got everything, dinner. Everything, everything. You, you know, you can come and have a, have a bowl of soup with us in the afternoon, have a business lunch, you know, 
Yeah. Come on by. It's always We're happening there. over at the Bookworm and Edwards. You can find them in Riverwalk. They're located in the same building as E-Town, the Ruby building just around the back. And their phone number, 926-READ or bookroomofedwards.com. We'll be back.